a beautiful Sunday. Matt is on his hands and knees getting all those weeds in our garden and moving around some plants. We're doing a lot of pruning and I'm trying to rearrange my pretty pots of flowers. I still have blooms coming. Aren't these pretty? All sorts of things. I even have some of my foxglove bells still there. And the bush of pink roses, the tiny pink roses, is just beautiful. Now today, Matthew is also helping me bring in the two air conditioners. And we're setting those up in the, in the bedroom. We have some of those roll, portable roll around air conditioners. And I've noticed that the past couple of nights uh, in the cottage, it, um, I need to have the, the overhead fan on. Moosey doesn't like it. So we, we have to come to a, an agreement here with uh, how we sleep at night. <laughs> That's some serious roots. They grow on concrete. Matt is getting the garden all prettied up for Moosey's coming up Mo's surgery and some serious relaxing in the garden for a couple of weeks. These are so petite and pretty, the little mini rose bush. I've never grown an eggplant before, and now I have a plant with several tiny little eggplants coming right out of the purple flowers. So let's hope that they don't drop and hang on. Tonight's supper is <laughs> reminiscent of my father's World War II victory garden. We are going to have stuffed peppers, so stay tuned. The big roses are still seven, eight feet tall, and Matthew's working away. Look at him on his hands and knees. Can Hello. You... <laughs> I made a loaf of our famous date nut bread this morning and used that Pillsbury date and nut bread mix. However, I added my big handful of walnuts and a big, big cupful of fresh dates, which you can follow this recipe. You just add it to the mix and it's just like the kind that mom made back in the day when it was my favorite school lunch. Oh, I like a lot of nuts. That could be half a cup, even maybe more. They're chopped. Mmm. Another one of Nanny's semi-homemade yummy meals. You and I are looking forward to having it with some cream cheese later. Nice and high, too. Look at that. Oh, is that gorgeous. Mmm. Mmm. Let me put this down. Well, it's early Monday morning and I'm getting ready to take Moosey to the hospital for his Mohs dermatology surgery. And he's sitting out here having his cereal, just enjoying this beautiful garden. Look at Matt's garden. He didn't leave a weed in sight. And my favorite part of the garden, all the pavements that he laid and put the bark down is showing again. And I can walk among the flowers and feed the birds safely. <laughs> so are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever they want to dish out to me. I can hear it be peaceful right here again. Right. The Mo's surgery. Yeah. And couple hours, she said. You've seen Mo on Mo, you've seen them all. Just arriving home from the hospital. I just dropped Moosey off. Let me open the gate. <clears throat> He's having two 
Mo's surgeries this morning. They told me it would be about three hours. There's Shamu ahead waiting for me. <laughs> so I'm going to do two preps of my last two chicken meal challenges. I'm on my last two. I've done three with one chicken and believe it or not, I'm gonna make it. Today, I am going to do two meals right now and I'm gonna prep them, one for tonight and one will be for tomorrow. So here I am home again, all in the same 45 minutes. <laughs> you know, when you go to the hospital now, you, you have to um, put a ticket in and they charge you for parking. And, ah, oh, the air conditioning always makes my eyes water. And when you put your ticket in, they tell you you have 30 minutes for free parking. After that, you have to pay. So I thought, well, when I go back to the hospital, I have to pay again. So I had to kind of rush in. Fortunately, they took Moosey in and I wheeled him in right away. I'm using his new Feather Light wheelchair lately and it's been such a joy, so much easier for him and for me to push him around in that. Now I'm still pushing around 220, 25 pounds, but it's a, a such a nice light chair. I can lift it up and put it in and out of the trunk, which is wonderful. And one of these days, Cindy and Matthew and I are going to um, show you this chair and do a little video on this wonderful chair for those of you who might be in the market for a wheelchair that you can actually lift and it's been a godsend so i'm going in and i'm gonna relax i also need some me time i'm falling apart physically here my nails are cracking and falling apart too much uh, physical work lately and i can't wear my nice new sandals that we picked up on our thrift day my daughter w and i until I get my piggies all fixed up too. So maybe in the three hours or so that it takes, I can do some of this. So we'll see. So catch you inside. Go in. I think I'll feed my kitties right now before I go in. Are you looking for some yum yums? My, hello. This is Shamu. You haven't seen her lately. Him. <laughs> I think he's anxiously waiting for ghosts to appear. So, okay, here's the deal on my um, five meals in one rotisserie chicken. I have already done the three, as you know. The first one I did with half of the breast was the chicken chili. The second meal that I did was from the meat from two legs. And I think that was the World War II throwback that my mother used to feed many meals like this to us of um, chicken uh, and onion gravy and stuffing and peas on toast, which we did one night. It's a man's meal, a comfort meal, and he absolutely loved it. And the third meal that I did was a Mexican arroz rice casserole. And it was with chicken and um, salsa and fire roasted tomatoes. I baked it with um, cheese and it was out of this world. I had plenty of chicken and from that, I believe, what did I use the meat from? Well, I froze the rest of the chicken because I didn't know when I was going to get to the rest of the chicken meals and I wanted to give Moosey a break from chicken. So we laid off the chicken for a couple of nights. However, Tonight, we're gonna go back to it because I came up with some other ideas. Guess what I'm gonna do? I am gonna do stuffed peppers tonight. Now, here's my dilemma. Besides these peppers, which I wanna definitely do some kind of a stuffed pepper meal, I happen to have leftovers from those meals. I have quite a bit of the Mexican rice casserole left with chicken in it, not a ton of chicken, but definitely a great flavor and rice and the rest of the mixture. I still have some peas left over with some of the stuffing and some of the gravy. So I am going to mix all this in. I mean, stuffed peppers with uh, Mexican rice. That sounds great, doesn't it? But I still have some extra chicken from my rotisserie chicken. 
So I'm going to use that plus the leftover. So that's not really cheating because I'm still using some, um, some of the leftovers. And the other meal, my fifth meal, is going to be a chicken noodle soup. And I'm going to have a funny little carcass left, not a big one. So I'm going to boil that, use some of that for my broth. And I do have some extra broth in a box down there. I can throw that in. I'm gonna use some of the chicken for that. I'm gonna use some nice curly noodles and we're gonna have a great chicken soup. Now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna have another cup of coffee. I'm going to have some more of my bread. I still have some of my date nut bread. So I'm gonna sit down in the peace and quiet of the little cottage right now. And I might go out and sit with Shamu for a while and the birds and have a cup of coffee and some of my date nut bread with cream cheese. I haven't had breakfast yet. Doesn't this look good? Especially with those dates that you put in and the nuts, it's scrumptious. Okay, off to sit. Well, I'm on my way back to the hospital. 10 o'clock he called. I just about got home in the house I didn't get him there until nine, and they said about three hours. But fortunately, <clears throat> they finished, and uh, they they evidently got all the uh, all the basal cell or squamous, whatever it was, out. And it didn't take several of those layers that they do with. Um, they do the biopsy, and then they go in for more if they have to. Evidently, they didn't have to. Thank God. <clears throat> so I'm on my way back to pick up Moosey and they were about ready to stitch him up. So off I go again, didn't get my me time or anything. I just about finished the bread, but I still have some coffee. So I'm on my way out again. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna close up now because I know you don't like when I'm driving and talking. So. so once I get out here of the gate, I'll shut, I'll shut us down. Okay, Hello. catch you later. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> here you are with your hat on, on the operating table here. You did a good job, Moose. It was over in like, what, an hour, 45 minutes? Okay, softening the peppers in boiling water, filled with water as well, and water surrounding them for about four minutes to pre-soften them before I stuck them and cooked them in the oven for about 30 minutes. So in here, I still have the pepper half from the leftover red pepper and maybe I'll put some mixture on that too. I can also put a lot of cheese in this too, whichever one I want, mozzarella, Mexican style, or the cheddar. And I'll stuff some down as much as I can. Lots of good cheese too. These look so good, but I wasn't able to get nearly half of the mixture in. So I still have extra rice mixture left from the Mexican casserole which I will just put in a dish and put lots of cheese on it. Looks so good. Now these will go in the oven after I put more cheese. So they're ready to go in the oven. Looks like a great meal. <laughs> Let's see how long they take to cook. Actually, it's just a matter of heating things up and softening those peppers some more. Doesn't that look pretty? <laughs> I know. Nice green with I mozzarella don't... cheese. I don't know where to start. I know. A little hot, so be careful. Nice buttered. Um, street tacos, two tacos. Mm. So, how you feeling? Oh, great. Good. No pain, right? No, nothing. Wonderful. Nope. Good. Looks kind of yummy. We'll see. Mm -mm. 
chicken stuffed peppers and with rice and all sorts of leftovers. Meal number four. Hello. Well, it's Tuesday morning and guess where I am? Just parked my car in front of Savers Senior 30% off day. And I just decided it was a day to kind of have a couple of hours of me time and where else would I start but here. So if I see anything good inside, I'll bring you in. Well, I got home a little while ago from Walmart's and Savers, the thrift shop, and Moosey is sleeping inside and I wanted to tell you a little bit about my haul. It wasn't a big one, it was kind of little. So I'm sitting outside, it is still a lovely day, and I have my Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farms hat on. So let me just talk a little bit from out here so I don't wake them up. As you know, it's senior day on Tuesday, 30% off. So you always get a big crowd anyway, but not what I was expecting today. Actually, I went in, I couldn't get a basket. I had to wait in line for a basket about 15 minutes and shopped around, found some things. Some of the things I'm going to be able to show you in the next video, mainly because um, a few of them are shirts, some things that I did pick up at Walmart, and also a beautiful Nautica shirt, beautiful blue and white striped men's shirt that I just love. A lot of times I do look in the men's department and do quite well. But when I went to check out, the line was all the way across the whole front of the store, and it's a big store. And then down the whole end line, all the way to the back of the store, and even turned the corner. And I said to myself, wow, do I have things in this basket that are going to allow me to wait for an hour or however long this would be? I've never seen a line like that in Savers. So I walked around some more. I said, oh, pfft, this line will go away in a few minutes. I'm sure it's not gonna stay like this. Well, I walked around and around sort of picking things up and trying to spend time, trying to enjoy myself. And I went back to check the line and it was even longer. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna get online now. And I went to the back of the store around a corner and got online and then the psychology started and I looked at my basket and I thought, what is in this basket that will make me stand online for an hour for? Well, I started putting things back. <laughs> Have you ever done that? I thought, okay, I don't need this. I bought a few pieces of glass. I bought a cute basket for gathering vegetables in the garden, but it wasn't quite right. If it was the one I really wanted, I would have kept it. So I sort of put that back. And you know, as the line moves forward, most people do that impulse buying. As we went down the ladies' dresses, I saw women in front of me shopping as they waited online, picking things and putting them in their basket. I was doing the opposite. I was putting things back wherever I could find some place to put them. So I put back a scarf, but I figured I have enough scarf. I put back a purse. I don't need another purse, but it was pretty. It was a, a pretty cute striped Tommy Hilfiger for $4.99. It was a deal, but I put it back. Oh, what else did I put it back? I put another men's shirt back. I hung that on an aisle and I kept going and I thought, okay, what's left in here? Well, there was basically one thing. Oh, besides that, I had a floor lamp in my basket that must be seven feet high. And you'll sh I'll show it to you because I'm putting it in the living room. Last week, I looked around the living room when we had some company coming. I think it was the day Billy came and one day Dubby came, Margie came. And when I put the lights on in the front room, our cottage unfortunately is dark. Now, dark is cozy in the winter time when you have fires going and everything. But in the summer, you want light and airy we back up to a hillside. Now in the front, we see to the mountains, but it still needs some light in the living room. And of course, we don't have a lot of sockets because the walls are this thick. The little cottage is a hundred years old. So I, I noticed that the one corner down in Moosey's world, in the corner there by the desk and the TV needed some light. 
And I thought, okay, this lamp will be perfect. So I had this big seven foot tall thing in my basket and I thought, okay, I want that. It's a deal. But the big thing was the most beautiful silver tray. Now this one was unusual. I do have a lot of silver. I have my grandmother's silver tea set and several other heirloom tea sets. Right now they're not displayed, <laughs> go figure. But I did display them for years and years and years and always shined them up with silver. But this one was different. First of all, it was an antique. Second of all, it was expensive for a thrift shop but it was probably 30 inches long and it was narrow and it was heavily decorated, the silver, you know, around the edges, beautiful handles, gorgeous feet, decorated feet. And it would look so beautiful with one of these tea services on it. And I, you know, I just had to keep it in the basket. And that was the main reason that I stood in that line. Well, it did move a little faster, so I did get moving along. And I will show you the tray. I'm going to polish it uh, probably tomorrow, and I will show you that in the next video. Plus, I have a couple of cosmetics that I did get from Amazon that I wanted to make a comparison. As you know, I don't use a lot of uh, products, but these I wanted to show you and compare and tell you how I found both of them. I picked up a couple of things at Walmart. When I finally left Savers, I did rush over to Walmart because I promised Moosey that I would give him some beef ribs tonight with corn on the cob. <laughs> I think he's getting a little sick of the chicken. So I'm making the soup tomorrow. The, the chicken is still okay. And the rest of the chicken for my, for my fifth meal of the chicken challenge is going into the soup with noodles and a carcass and a few other things that I have had in the freezer, but not tonight. So Moosey gets pork ribs tonight with gravy. I buy those ones already cooked, but they're delicious. So tonight he's having that with a nice big salad. But let me show you some of the jewelry. Now my friend Richard was there. And of course he was the first stop that I made when I got to the thrift shop. And there was a woman ahead of me and she took an awful long time and you know they can only wait on one person at a time so there was a lot of waiting going on today in seen in the uh, savers thrift shop but i did find something really really nice let me show you this isn't this beautiful it's coral and it's a beautiful design with some wooden beads and the pendant as you know i love coral I love my, my turquoise too, but I thought this was beautiful and it will go with a lot of my summer things. As a matter of fact, it, it goes nicely with this, but I also bought this and I'll get up close to show you. This is another shell. I think it's a shell embossed um, pendant, but this one has some beads around the neck. Now, I should put the, did I put my wood earrings on? I love my wood, anything dark wood I love to begin with. But I did get some earrings to go with this and they're a beautiful color, also shell. And I think they'll match beautifully with this, won't they? So I'll wear these maybe the next time. I did get two rings, always have to buy some jewelry. <laughs> some of the little kids are gonna love this someday. Let's see what else is in here. Another pair of earrings. And I think I did get something else that I left inside. Tomorrow is Wednesday and I have to do my editing tonight. And I had forgotten that tomorrow was Wednesday. I, somehow this week is going quickly. Moosey is doing well after his Mohs surgery yesterday and he's supposed to take it easy for the next week or two. We have our 63rd wedding anniversary coming up on the 16th of July. The doctor wants Moosey to kind of just take it easy, not pushing that rollator around because uh, those Mohs surgery, one was right here and one was on his upper arm. So, so I guess he'll be taking it easy. I won't yet, <laughs> but uh, I never did get my me day in yesterday. And today I decided to take a me day out, <laughs> but uh, I need to uh, take care of myself. My daughter, Debbie, was pulling on um, a, a, a neck 
um, one of those little sucker hairs the other day. I think she got it because I don't feel it. My nails are a wreck. I have to do something about that. I can't wear my new straw sandals until I work on my feet. So I think this, this uh, old gal here is ready for a, a me day. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. So I want to thank you. Gosh, I, I say this so often, but ladies, I just love you. So many of you have watched us for so long and, and I love to, to listen to the comments. You're so kind about your loving comments. And I hope that I'm bringing you some entertainment and some things, some value to you. I know this age is a tough one to get through. And um, I've spoken about all the things that, that we have to put up with, but we just have to, we just have to have that purposeful life going. So thank you again, all of you. I love you. Bye for now and God bless us all.